Okay guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because it looks like there's some new Firefly Funhouse characters on the way. This is really exciting. The logo that was used for last night's Firefly Funhouse episode was different to the logo that's normally used. Uh, the logo that's normally used has got Ramblin' Rabbit, Abby the Witch, Mercy the Buzzard. Um, I can tell you that only Abby the Witch was on the logo last night. And there were what I believe to be two brand new characters. Uh, this is super exciting. Um, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Joey Adventures. I did not spot this at the time because it literally flashed on screen within like a second um, and uh, even if you watch the YouTube clip of this it's it's done so well it's not obvious at all uh, so they've done a brilliant job with this so shout out to Joey Adventures uh, let's get to the logo shall we uh, here it is you can see it on screen um, this has been taken from the YouTube uh, clip that's uh, on the WWE YouTube channel right now. Uh, you can see that it looks like a dinosaur in some kind of a shirt. And uh, I think that's a cat. It looks like a cat to me. It looks like a cat that's wearing a hat. It's a cat in a hat uh, that's wearing uh, some shades as well. Um, now, we can theorise as to what these are. I think that cat has kind of got his arms stretched out. I'm wondering if he's, like, striking a, an NWO pose, you know, when they used to, like, strut, kind of, like, walk their way down to the ring. Um, you know, they had a very distinctive swagger. I'm just wondering if that cool cat is maybe representative of the NWO. Uh, he's wearing little black shades uh, like they used to wear in the NWO as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, a cool cat to uh, resemble the NWO, who of course are going into the Hall of Fame this year. Um, and we saw that Bray had an interaction with uh, the NWO leader, if you will, Hulk Hogan, uh, last night on SmackDown. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering whether that's symbolising the NWO. The other character that we've got is uh, quite a friendly looking dinosaur in a shirt. Uh, or seemingly in some kind of a shirt. Uh, kind of a shirt looks a little similar to something that Mercy, the buzzard, might wear. I I'm struggling with the reference on this. The only thing I can think, dinosaur, old timers. Is this just a character that's going to represent the old timers? Is this just a character, a generic character, that's going to represent the past? The dinosaurs from the past? You know, is it going to be used this time to represent Goldberg? Uh, there's rumours that we might get The Fiend versus Undertaker at some point. Could it represent The Undertaker? Could it represent John Cena if we get Cena versus uh, Bray Wyatt? Cena versus The Fiend? Could it be that this dinosaur represents the old timers? Maybe it doesn't represent anyone in particular. Um, so I really hope these are characters that we get to see. Of course, it could be that they're both representative of uh, Hogan or the NWO in some way. But uh, yeah, I'm struggling to kind of put those pieces together. So I would absolutely love to know your thoughts on this. I really do think that's a cool cat uh, that uh, is representing the NWO and dinosaur to represent the dinosaurs, the legends, if you will, that I think Bray and the Fiend will be facing throughout 2020. Uh, so yeah, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see my reaction to last night's segment, as I said, I did not spot this at the time, uh, but that reaction video is up on the channel and I will put a link to it at the end of this video. Uh, I was very excited because Huskus was on that segment and I am a big Huskus fan. So uh, yeah, check it out if you've not seen that already. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, i see you again next time. Bye for now.